All right, a quick demonstration. I'm using PolyGen. Start with the Bezier tool. Draw whatever shape you want your vase to be or whatever shape you're doing. Um, I'll make a kind of a funky little shape here. Now you'll notice that I didn't do the top and the bottom pieces. These will get generated automatically. Okay, the second thing to do is make sure that's composed of straight lines. So with your node tool, select all and come up here, click on this to make selected line segments lines. Now they're all straight. <clears throat> For simplicity, let's move this to one on the X. And let's say we want to our base to have a diameter of five inches. So all we really need to do is draw a straight line, again, with the Bezier tool. And this Bezier, uh, sorry, this line is going to be, if we want a five inch base, it needs to be two and a half inches over from whatever the X value of the bounding box here is. So that would be 3.5. Now just, this is going to give the shape. This is going to give the diameter. Select them both. And go to extensions, papercraft, polygen. Uh, set your polygon sides, however many you want, six, eight, this is the tab angle, the height of the tabs, how thick you want your tabs to be. And a point one dash line is for cutting the little dashes in the score line. And we're working in inches. Apply it. I'm going to close this now and we're done. This is the bottom. This is the top piece. You can make these into rings if you want. This is the decorative piece and this is the structure piece so these two pieces you need to duplicate to however many sides you have in your polygon you can get rid of this and this right now we're not be going to be using them if you're making a vase for instance and you want your top to have that ring effect so just duplicate it Um, make that duplicate maybe an inch, uh, make sure you're proportional here, maybe make it about an inch smaller, minus one, and then center these two and do a path difference. That will give you a ring to work with rather than solid, so you can leave this at the bottom of your base, you can have this at the top of your base, and that's pretty much all there is to using this extension. You'll need to duplicate both of these the same number of times as your sides, but that's probably best done in design space or studio or wherever you're actually cutting. If you want to do it here, of course, just hit control D. In my case, for an octagon, I need to duplicate it seven times. Um, but if I did that, and you can see that these are all the pieces that we will glue side to side along our two octagons to make our project. And it, of course, would do the same thing with the deco.